Motherwell had not won at Fur Hill since January 1997. Piccolo clears that ball. Lawless. And Higginbotham. And Bannigan. It's good build up this from Partick Thistle. Nicely done here. The cutback for Lawless. And Partick Thistle are in front. And it was a wonderfully well worked goal. Bannigan to Doolan. Cragen with the cutback. And Lawless kept his cool to tuck that ball away for his first league goal since scoring a double up at Ross County on August the 10th. This was magnificently worked. And Motherwell cut to pieces. Motherwell's 100% record against the bottom six sides is in jeopardy. Here come Thistle again. Higginbotham trying to shape the shot in towards Doolan. Headed away by Hamill, and then Lasley completes the clearance, only as far as Aaron Taylor Sinclair. Lawless again! Oh, what a flying save by Dan Twardzik. So nearly number two. Lawless, who scored on eight minutes, and he was looking to double that lead. That is a fine stop. Taylor Sinclair's corner, and Piccolo he got up well. Just moving backwards towards the ball, which made it a little harder to direct and get pace onto it. But he was free, and he was only about eight yards out. Half chance. McFadden brings it down brilliantly. Lasley breaking beyond McFadden, and Lasley has Motherwell level. The lead lasted only seven minutes, and it's Keith Lasley who gets his first goal for over a year. The genius of James McFadden strikes again. Beautifully weighted pass and well finished. It's ten home games without a win for Partick Thistle. You have to go back to May of last year to find that. That's nicely worked, though. And here's Higginbotham. Chance to run at McManus. Still Higginbotham. Twardzik holds firm and makes the save. This is Vigers. Opened up to Francis Angol. He's got help in the form of Hamill. Oh, that's well done by Zane Francis Angol. Chance to shoot. Motherwell are now ahead. Six minutes after they equalised. And it's Zane Francis Angol who delights the travelling support. They didn't have far to come. And they must have been a little nervous when they went one down. But the response from Stuart McCall's side has been excellent. And it's Zane Francis Angol, who has Motherwell ahead, tucking that one in at the near post. His first goal for the club. Turning inside O'Donnell. And then the right-footed finish. Brought down to Lawless. Now Doolan might need to go it alone. Doolan curling one with the left foot. Can't been too far wide. Twardsick always seemed happy enough. It wasn't going to ripple the net. Partick Thistle haven't won in their last eight games. They've only picked up two points since late October. Away by Taylor Sinclair. Anier using his strength, and then over the top, McFadden's in here, it could be 3-1, and is brilliantly finished off by James McFadden. The problems arose with the strength of Anier, and then Piccolo couldn't stretch to clear. The finish majestic from McFadden. It's his first league goals since May. Ramsden, out-muscled by Lawless. Lawless stinked in, and Cragen's header goes over the top in the end, but Cragen stole a march on the defender. 
And he probably should have done better with this. Lawless found him perfectly. Quick throw, McFadden! Scott Fox had to be alive there. McFadden first time on the left foot, good stop. Balatoni, Lawless, popping up everywhere. Forbes! Twardzik, just knocking it over the top, it was well struck. Dipping as Ross Forbes hit this. Nicely done. Zane Francis Angol again. Who can he pick out in the middle? Well, Taylor Sinclair took a chance with that one. Worked out for him in the end. His pass, though, isn't accurate enough. Here's Lasley and Ainsworth. It's 4 1 now. The man in red hot form. Scores for the third week running. What a turnaround it's been from Motherwell. Taylor Sinclair's pass picked off by Lasley. And then Lionel Ainsworth. It was a great finish across the goalkeeper and perfectly finding the corner of the net. Motherwell absolutely flying. McFadden's header. Rattles the crossbar. Well, he doesn't score too many headers. Can't remember the last, in fairness. Carswell in field. Now Vigers. Piccolo. Oh, Piccolo's in trouble here. It's John Sutton, the substitute. 5 1 Motherwell. John Sutton has his ninth goal of the season. But he's got Gabriel Piccolo to thank for that one. He took his eye off it. And that played the ball into Sutton's path. And another excellent finish. He's only been on the field for nine minutes. The Motherwell's win at Aberdeen was big. This is even bigger. Ainsworth to make it six. Fox with a save. It comes out to McFadden. And he perhaps should have hit it first time. But that's just a long, straight ball from Stephen McManus. But it's a very good save by Scott Fox. Hamill, a little short, back to the goalkeeper. And missed by Twardzik, Doolan could be in. Well, it would have only been for a consolation for Partick Thistle. But Motherwell, their first real lapse in concentration in this game. But Doolan couldn't take advantage. Subscribe now for free and catch all the action on SPFL YouTube.